Hello, good evening, everyone. Okay, so before start, okay, please help me to like and share this video. Hello, good evening. How are you? Yeah, good here, lah. Good here, but the market not so good, lah. <clears throat> Hello, good evening. So please help me to like and share this video, lah. Okay, more likes, the more the better, lah. Okay, so before we start, okay, all our analysis, okay, it's not a buy or sell recommendation, or just for education purposes only. Okay, so today content, okay, we will go through the market outlook, which is a US market, oil, gold, cryptocurrency, and FBM KLCI, and then follow with the stocks Q and A. So if you have any uh stocks in mind okay you want to ask to review okay let me know your intention as well okay whether you are looking for ep you or you already entered okay at which level so i can give a better advice okay based on technical point of view okay so we start with the stocks q and a ah sorry <laughs> we start with the market outlook first ah. <clears throat> okay let's see ah. so far we can see actually ah, dow jones ah, us market start to get weaker okay and there is a divergence as well okay if we compare okay this high and this high okay this high and this high actually the this indicate that the bull is getting weaker okay and especially yesterday okay market break below 35.7k with a bearish price action okay it's quite bearish price action ah, as for today close ah yesterday closing so what I see is okay, market may have some correction, okay, and their next support is thirty four point eight, thirty four point nine k, okay. For this one is a, this one is a Dow Jones, ah, okay. If we look back at the weekly candle, lah, okay, weekly chart, lah, actually also indicate that, okay, especially here, ah, the price is going up, but the MACD is start to getting weaker. Okay, so this one is just a signal that market, uh, market may have some uh, correction or some, yeah, some correction soon. Okay, and for the S&P, yesterday also break below 4640, okay, and here also got a divergence, uh, as we can see. High, 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 okay. The MACD is getting lower, but the price going up. Okay, this one is a divergence and now already break down below 4640. And their next stronger support is 4550. Okay, if can hold, okay, bulls still have some chance. Uh, if cannot hold, uh, they may go to 4500 or even lower. Okay, and NASDAQ as well. Okay, they already broke below 15.7k so far. Not yet, okay, unable to recover above. And yesterday, okay, try to hit 15.2k. Okay, so far still bearish looking like and the MACD uh, we also can see uh, already below the zero center line. Okay, bear is in control. So uh we see uh, tonight whether 15.2k can hold or not. Okay, if cannot hold uh, next level is 14.9k. Okay, so far uh, for me, uh, US market is in the uh, uh, bear is Bear is in control uh, in the US market and temporarily we will see more bear, bearish sentiment. Uh. Okay, next is uh, oil. Okay, oil so far so good. Uh, okay, ever since they break below 84, okay, 84 become a support and seems like, okay, the bullish uh, strength is still there. Uh, okay, if we draw the two line, this one, they are still trading within the uptrend channel. Okay, uh, for oil is still bullish looking. Okay, and their next resistance, okay, if able to continue rally, la, okay, next resistance is 92. Okay, and go, how about go? Okay, go so far, still not much reaction, uh, still uh, sideway and tr struggle, struggle at around 1818 there. And their immediate resistance, 1830. And how about Bitcoin? Okay, Bitcoin still struggle also, la. so far we can see, ah. Uh, since beginning of January until now, uh, they are trading, their range are uh, still in the sideway. Okay, not much movement. So pending for a breakout or breakdown only. And Ethereum as well. Ethereum weaker, uh, okay. 3,004 unable to break through. Now Kerna rejected. Okay, they may go back to 3,000. Okay, so far I still haven't seen any valid, okay, valid signal. How about KLCI? <laughs> for KLCI, uh, today already break below 1540, okay, which indicate that okay i think the bear is in control already 
Okay, MACD also crossed down. So next support, uh, their last defense, uh, 1520. If cannot hold, uh, 1500 or 1485. Okay, if able hold, uh, able to hold, uh, I think still got a small chance. Uh. Hopefully, can go back above 1540. Okay, otherwise, uh, I will see more bear in the KLCI. Okay, next is the stocks QA. Uh. Let me see. Uh. Scroll back. Okay, I want to cut loss in Chin Hin. Uh. Let me see. Uh, Chin Hin, how is Chin Hin going? Uh? Okay, current price is around 226. Okay, I'm not sure where is your entry price, but it, okay, but uh, here got some indicator, lah, okay, indication that the bear is in control. Okay, the MACD already crossed down, but uh, for me, lah, okay, I will put my last defense at 220. Okay, so long the price above 220, I think I still will fight on. Lah. Okay, unless your entry price is at the penthouse, lah, maybe you need to uh, consider cut when they break below the 20 MA. So maybe I will fight until they break below 220. Okay, if break below 220, then no good already. Next level will be 2 ringgit. Okay, and let me see the next priest review sense of EP337. Okay, let me see. Uh, sense of uh, also cup and handle. You want to say cup and handle also can. Uh, Okay, let me see. Uh. Not so pretty punya cow and handle lah, okay? But a little bit a light lah, okay? Can say lah, okay? Okay, but they need to break out lah. Your EP is 370, so meaning you entered earlier lah. And they need to break above, I think this level lah. Only consider break out lah. 355, okay? Which here unable to go through here also unable to go through okay today attempt to break out but still gonna rejected okay so they are if you think lah okay if you think this is a cup and handle they need to break out above here okay and their next resistance ah, i will put at 375 okay also nearby the 200 ma's and Previously also get rejected here. So once they clear clear 355, next level 375. So for me, okay, your EP370, lah, okay. If you want to, okay, uh, maybe it's reduce your losses or break even only, lah, okay, 375. Okay, unless the bullish momentum continue, maybe got chance to go to 40 cents. But uh, not sure whether, okay, the market sentiment still can continue so bullish for uh, the sense of or not. Okay, review on Grey Tech EP490. Okay, please tell me to like and share. Uh, like and share. Oh, Grey Tech break 5 ringgit already. Uh. Your EP490. Okay. Okay, for me. Uh, okay. I will not take any any position yet. Okay. Okay, even even if I enter yesterday, lah, okay, today also is my cut loss day already. Lah. So far, what I see here is uh, the bear is still in control. Even uh, yesterday, which is uh, Monday, lah, okay, got a rebound. But today, the price continues to sell down and also with a huge volume. MACD below zero center line already. Okay, so the bear is still in control. So what I see, uh, next level uh, might go... Okay, if the... Nasdaq uh, sentiment not so good. Uh. I think will drop down further, maybe to 450 or even 4 ringgit. Okay, so far I haven't seen any rebound signal yet. Okay, I only can see the waterfall. Uh, one straight down. So, so if your EP is 490, okay, depends on your risk tolerance. Uh, maybe you can put until, can tahan until maybe 470. Uh. If below 470, I think we'll go to 450 or even lower, maybe 4 ringgit. <clears throat> okay, so far I haven't seen any uh, sign of rebounding yet. Okay, next is the TP for D next. Enter 870. Oh, okay, I think you entered before the <laughs> breakout, right? <clears throat> okay, so far this one also can consider is a so called cup and handle, okay, which I do mention on. I think on Monday and also Tuesday on my uh, YouTube channel. Okay, so today finally got a breakout with high volume. So their next resistance is 930. Okay, if I scroll up, scroll back and see, 
why nitrile? Okay, nitrile is a re uh, is a resistant back in last year June. Okay, market rebound all the way and hit here, gonna rejected. So meaning that this level is a quite important uh resistant. Uh. So next level, nitrile. Okay, unless they can clear above nitrile, then one ringgit. Okay, one ringgit is here. So for me, nitrile is a place that I will consider to protect partial. Okay, and another half, maybe I will fight lah until one ringgit. And my trading stop, maybe I will put below 885 flow. Okay, since today they break out here. Ma. If tomorrow, okay, the price sell down here, I will close all position. Meaning that this one might be a false breakout. Okay, so next is the P trans. Uh. Let me see. Uh. Trans view, uh. okay. So far, let me see. Uh. Any signal? Okay, this one still got some chance. La. Still got some chance. Just that the price are uh, always gonna press down by the 200 MAs. Okay, even here also. But here, at least we can see that uh, they start to build a base here. Break out. Okay, now retest the support. So, uh, 625 is their immediate support. Okay, or oh, I put 620. Lah. Okay, 620, 625 is their immediate support. And most importantly, don't close below 60 cents. Lah. Okay, if below 60 cents, totally no game already. And if they're able to rebound, lah, they need to close above the 200 MAs, which is 655. Okay, they need to break above 655, only got chance to make a comeback. Otherwise, uh, they might sideways over here only. Okay, but if uh, the only thing is uh, they are downtrend stocks, uh, downtrend stocks and short term wise, still got some chance. Lah. Okay, stop code 5 2. Okay, let me see. Uh, Pusa 5273. Uh. Okay, Jin Hin, the sound review already. Okay, the next cover handle form next TP, please. Okay, already advice lah. Okay, review T7. Okay, to be honest, uh, if the cup and handle break out, uh, actually the target should be about one ringgit or even higher. But for Malaysia stocks, you know lah. Okay, the chart okay sometimes not so follow one, so we still follow with the next resistant 93 and one ringgit. Okay, T7 global. Uh, Actually, slightly weak, uh, what I can see here. Okay, they may sideway, la. they may continue sideway. La. Okay, what I see, uh, the MACD uh, actually is starting weak, show some weak, weakness already. La. Okay, and here they still unable to break through above uh, 375 or 40 cents there. Okay, so far the price range, what I expect is uh, they might continue sideway. La. So watch out your immediate support uh, 350, 345 there. Uh. Okay. They they may take some time uh, for to continue sideways. <laughs> okay. EP for UWC MPI front Kern. I think this one uh, UWC, let me see. Uh. Wow, still continue deep down. Uh. Okay, so far uh, I see they, they are still selling. Uh, okay, I haven't seen any rebounding signal. Okay, what I need is a one-day bullish candle, which is, okay, a bullish candle, okay, if can, uh, the bullish candle can erase previous day losses one, okay, as big as possible, uh, bullish candle with volume, okay, until this appear, I only will try to EP, otherwise, I will let it flow, uh. Okay, so you watch out 450 lah. Okay, if next few days they can sideway and stay above 450, you can consider. Okay, otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, maybe can wait. Maybe 4 ringgit or 420 there. Okay, so I still need to monitor lah. Okay, see whether 450 can hold or not. Okay, so far I see there's still one way ticket always. Uh, still selling pressure is still there lah. So I not there to. Uh, jump into it, uh, okay, for 450. Unless you dare, okay, you jump in, cut loss below 450. Otherwise, just wait, uh, wait for the more bullish candle to appear first. Okay, wait for the buyer come in <clears throat> and then only join them. Uh. Okay, next is uh, MPI. Uh. 
Yeah, MPR as well. Okay, although uh, Monday uh, got some support over here, but today uh, tell us that they don't want to push out already. Uh. They already give out to support this level, which is uh, 40 ringgit. So based on this scenario, uh, what I can wait is about 36, uh, 36 around here, 36. Okay. We still need to wait some more solid signal, okay? Or else we don't know where is the low, okay? So temporarily, I will wait at 36 or wait for the price to stabilize above 40, okay? Only jump in or else uh, don't catch the falling knife or so. Okay, next is a Franken. I think a lot of people like this one. Uh. Franken also very bad shape, ah. Uh. Previously, uh, what I see on Franken is uh, maximums, uh, their worst case scenario is 350, which is here, yeah, but already break down already. Uh. Even the 200 MAs, uh, they also break down. And and if we can see uh, on Monday, uh, <clears throat> this one is a hammer, a light candle, but today no follow up. Okay, they didn't uh, close bullish, but market open gap down and close low okay close below 325 so for me this one is a rebound fear lah, okay market may drop further okay next level i will wait for franken uh, is about three ringgit okay before three ringgit maybe i will see uh, 310 310 and then uh, three ringgit okay uh, so far i still haven't seen they stabilize or got some rebound signal yet okay so can just wait first lah okay next is the myeg review ep102 my eg uh. ah my eg already break below one ringgit already break below 985 okay so for me my eg la, okay last defense are also today's closing la, 945 okay if la, okay still unable to recover above la, or or I can say lah, if tomorrow below 945 lah, I will consider exit first and then wait at 905 or 870. Okay, and here also actually got some indication already lah. Okay, the high can unable to go high. And this one is looks like a so-called head and shoulder lah, but a mini size lah. Okay, and then here is a support ma. Okay, already break down. So... I think they may go to 905 la, okay, or 870. So for me, exit first and then wait for a signal to re-enter. Okay, next is the review and EP for FP group, my Lux and help tech. Okay, let me see an uh, FP group. Ah, ini susah ini. The bear is still in control. Let me delete everything and just draw one line. Okay, 630. And actually, FP Group have uh, been in downtrend uh, since last year. Uh, okay, uh, last year, February, uh, when they break below the yellow line, uh, which is the 200 MAs. Ever since they break below, uh, you can see the rebound, no strength, rebound, Kerna rejected by the 200 MAs, and continue sell down. If we base on recent trend, we can see the price uh, keep resisted by the 20 MA. Okay, and recently they just break below 625. Okay, this is a support, rebound fear, and then sideways break down. So not nice already. Uh. So for me, FP group still got room to drop. Uh. Okay, unfortunately. So maybe next level we see uh, 50 cents. Uh. Okay, whether got any support or not. Worst to worst uh, may go as low as 375. Uh. Here was 2020 March. Okay, they rebounded from here about 375. So current price is about 555 and I haven't seen any bullish candle appear yet. So far every day is a close rate uh, and the volume is quite high. So they got chance to go to visit 50 cents. Uh. Okay, my luck. Uh. See ya. My Lux. Let me see this one. Uh. Actually, this one the bear is still in control, lah. Uh, okay, and their last last hope uh, is the two hundred MAs, which is eight one five. 
okay, if the price still can stay above 815, okay, they still got chance, okay, to rebound back to 890. Okay, fail to stay above 815, they may visit 750. Okay, okay, what I see are the, the most uh, is a temporary rebound only. Okay, and most likely the uh, market will drop further. And we see that uh, 815, if cannot hold, uh, they may go down to uh, 750 there. Okay, my Lux help tech. Uh. Oh, help tech also fear. For help tech, uh, actually, I was waiting for the breakout. Uh. Okay, I was waiting, waiting for the breakout because uh, previously they do keep testing here the uh, 200 MAs and the 100 MAs. But seems like they are unable to go through and gonna reject it. Okay, even uh, 490, 480 also break down. Okay, today close below 480. Closing is at 475. So for me, they already break the support level. So the bear is in control. Lah. Okay, unless tomorrow can recover back above 490, then okay. Okay, otherwise, uh, they may go to 460 and 435. Okay, so not so good. Lah. Not so good looking. Okay, next is a uh, Enfla. Enfla cap and handle shape fear. Let me see uh, how is Enfla doing. Yeah, the the so called cup and handle are uh, already broken. Uh. Okay. Okay, here is a uh, cup. This one handle, but they no break up. Okay, for the cup and handle, we more prefer lah, if you want to trade based on this pattern. Lah, I more prefer got the breakup. Okay, they need to break above uh, 690 only can enter. Okay, otherwise uh, uh, got some risk. Lah, okay, and even though you want to enter before the breakup, maybe your stop loss must put around here. Lah, okay, which is about uh, 635, 630 like that. Okay, based on today closing, the bear is in control. They might go back to revisit 585. Okay, and the difference, uh, you can see Enfla and the like, DNEX. Uh. Okay, what's the difference? Okay, DNEX is a uptrending stocks. Okay, at least the chart is uptrending sideways to uptrend. And the Enfla, okay, is a downtrend. Okay, downtrend with the cup, so called cup and handle. So the success rate, okay, if we choose compare both the success rate, of course, the next, the uptrending one gives you a better chance, okay, better chance to uh, uh, to win, uh, okay. And Enfla, cup and the shape, okay, how based on US market, okay, US market, I think will have some correction, okay, which I think they need a correction also. Okay, already pump up so much. So I think it's a healthy, healthy correction for the market also. Okay, so so long we didn't use a leverage or margin, I think it's still fine. Okay, for EP for Unisam and Inari can wait. Uh. Let me see uh, how is Unisam. Uh. Oh, Unisam still the one break three ringgit. Uh. I was expecting it to break below the uh, three ringgit. Uh. So for me, I still haven't seen any uh, good sign, la, okay? So I hope that they can break below 3 ringgit and go to 270. La. So uh, watch out, la. if next few days, uh, next next few days, uh, they still unable to break below 3 ringgit, la. maybe 3 ringgit is their temporary support. Okay, break below 3 ringgit, next level, uh, 270. Okay, 270, yeah, 270 first. La. Uh, we monitor first, uh, but so far, based on the momentum, I think three ringgit okay got chance to break. Uh. Okay, next is the Inari. Ah, uh, Inari break 350 already, uh, and also break the 200 MAs. Okay, so uh, so far, <laughs> still not look uh, not good looking. Uh. So for Inari, I will personally prefer uh, wait at around three ringgit. Okay, no guarantee that the price will come to here, but at least we can see from uh, here is a good support back then. Okay, about three ringgit. And recent sell down is quite strong. So why we want to buy at a, not a support zone? Okay, so at least we wait at a better better level for this one. If three ringgit fear to hold, they may go to 250. This one is a worst case scenario already. 
So we temporarily wait at 3 ringgit and see if got any signal or not. Okay. And Cytex DP, your EP445. Uh. Let me see. Uh. 445. Okay, Cytex uh, at least. Uh. Okay. This one, uh, at least we can see. Uh. Previously, they got a strong sell down. At least today, we can see got a bullish candle with high volume. Okay. At least this chart tell us that uh, at this level got some buyers okay they willing to buy at this price with this volume okay give us some confidence that at least this one got higher chance to success lah, okay although uh, the MACD crossed down already yeah. okay so for this case mm, your entry is 445 ma. so maybe we can use the two, uh, 20 MA which is about 475 and 480 as our resistance Okay, why for 480? 480 is here. Was support. Okay, ever since they break down, here become resistant. So for me, 475, 480 is a resistant uh, can consider. Lah, okay, but the big trend, at least this one big trend is uh, still doing uptrend. Okay, energy up. People are suffering all price up. Good and bad for energy. Actually, uh, for me, lah, oil, oil prices up are uh, not so good. Lah. Okay, not so good. Uh, also, will cost the inflation. All the costs will go up. Uh. So, for me, it's not so good. Uh. Can it be great tech? Uh? But, but on the other hand, uh, as, as our country is an export country, uh, so somehow, okay, will help a little bit. Uh. But, uh, most important, but what, what I hope is uh, the oil price remain low. Uh. Uh, for great that uh, today break five ringgit already. So for me, maybe we can wait around four five oh. Okay, wait around four five oh. The bear is still in control. Okay, so review the MSC. MSC uh, slightly topish already. Uh. review EP uh, a little bit topish uh, as we can see here. Uh, let me see how I how to explain. Okay. Here the MACD. Uh, we can see the high is getting lower. But here going up. Okay. So indicate that the bull is slightly weaker already. Lah. So the price may may drop. Okay. May have some uh, retracement or some correction. Lah. So next level, maybe you can consider around 3 ringgit. Okay, monitor at 3 ringgit first. If cannot hold la, the price break below 3 ringgit, wait at around 275. Okay, 1520. Okay, give me the stock's name la. Okay, easier because uh, I don't remember the code. La. Usa stock. Oh. Okay, 1520 one, Brusa Malaysia. I couldn't find it. Okay, can can give me the stock's name. Okay, thank you. Uh, EP complex. Okay, let me see. Uh. Okay, do they break above three ringgit? So far, okay, for me, uh, these stocks are, uh, I still no chance to do EP yet. Uh. Okay, so uh, they are still far away from the 20 MA. La, so your risk will be higher if you go and chase. La. So wait for uh, some retracement first. Okay, today break out 3 ringgit. And this one also a little bit tricky uh, back then. I will still wait at around the 20 MA area. La, okay, which is around 260 now. Okay, I will wait for some correction or some retracement only consider or else this level they already spy out for so many days ah. okay already spy out for so many days if i enter now maybe we'll get small reward only but my risk is higher okay so maybe i will wait lower lah. okay maybe you monitor 280 260 okay best tp for armada armada tp now <laughs> okay so if i scroll up ah, Okay, we see a bigger chart. Lah. Okay, 540 is a level that should, okay, can consider to 
take partial or acid already. Okay, if we refer back to the historical high, uh, not historical, uh, it's uh, uh, the resistance. Uh, okay, back in 2019, 2020, okay, the price unable to go through above 540. Okay, even recently, okay, last year, October, the price also unable to go above 540. So for me, 540 is a place that I will consider to take profit. And if we if we see today's price session now, uh, we can see market open gap out and hit 540, gonna reject it down. Okay, volume also quite high. Okay, also indicate that some people already start to take profit over here. And wait for it to retrace back uh, maybe 510 or 50 cents there. So for me, here is a place that can consider to protect partial. Air Asia still got people want uh. technical point of view uh, still not okay. Uh. Oh, here got a gap. Okay, when when they get 2020, they do have a gap. Oh yeah, they get over here 640 already break below so for me lah asia lah 525 to 50 cents okay can try for rebound trade okay 50 cent and 525 was a good support back in 2020 march okay this one is a uh, when the mco come uh, the price drop under here rebounded Okay, here also again. Here was, let me see when, uh, November 2020. So their next stronger support for me uh, is 525 to 50 cents. Okay, great tech can wait lower. Uh, maybe uh, 450. Okay, so far I haven't seen any uh, bullish signal yet. So maybe we still can wait. Uh, okay, can, if we buy more expensive but more confirmation, I think it's better also, right? EH plant, sorry, EH plantation, EH plantation EP 60 cents. Uh. Actually, this one uh, also weak, weak, uh, also weak. Uh. So let me see. Uh. <laughs> let me see what I can, I can say. Uh. Okay, we can see from the chart. The high is getting lower. The low is getting lower. Okay. So what I see is uh, the price, uh, they may drop down further. Lah. Okay. So temporarily not so good looking. And if you enter and 60 cents, okay, depends. Uh, okay. You want to break even now or you want to fight again. If you want to fight, fight. You can use a uh, 590 as your last support. Okay, if the price above 590 still okay, still got chance. Lah. But the resistance uh, is quite near only 620. Okay, six or uh, I put 630 lah, is your immediate resistance and 650. Okay, if below 590 lah, the support, the they might go to revisit 565. Okay. And good evening, PH. Okay, let me see. Uh, Tasco. Uh. EP for Tasco. Uh. Tasco side way. Uh. Hey, sorry, wrong Tasco. Oh, Tasco also sell down. Uh. They also break below all the moving averages. Today closing is 113. Okay, got two level can consider. Uh, okay, for Tasco. First level is 111, okay, and another level is 105, okay, or one ringgit. Okay, so based on current sell down, I think we can wait around 105 to one ringgit. Okay, support resistance for solution. Oh, solution uh, rebound fear. Uh. Below the 20 and 50 MA already. Uh. Today closing 505. Okay, they are immediate support. Uh. 50 cents. Okay. But which I but I think uh, okay got chance to break below 50 cents. Uh. 
But if I am wrong, okay, they supported by 50 cents. Okay, 50 cents is a place to consider. Cut loss below 50 cents. Uh, and if they can rebound, 550, 590. Okay, fear to stay above 50 cents, they may go down to 450 and 380. Okay, this one is a solution. Why a lot of test stop dropped so much recently? Okay, uh, I think I can say one of the reasons is a NASDAQ. La. NASDAQ also not doing well. Ma. You, we we still need to respect to the US market as well, la, okay? As they give us the businesses, ma, right? Okay, well call. Let's see. Yeah. Uh. Well call EP, yeah. Uh. Okay, well call 137 un unable to go through and today closing got a got a hammer like candle. La. Okay, my ideal level is around 118. Okay, but I think didn't come until here, okay? Today low was on 119 there. So if you want, okay, you can consider uh, around 120 there, but cut loss, uh, put below 118. Okay, feel to stay above 118, 117 there. Uh. Okay, they may go to 112 or even lower. Okay, great correction, give you opportunity. Yep, 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 yep. So uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, we still wait. Uh. Okay, PMV tech. Uh. PMB tech sideway ah uh, sideway. Let me see ah uh, sideway lah. Uh, if you want ah uh, twelve ringgit if is your support. Okay, if you want you can jump in with your cut loss below twelve. Okay, meaning the closing is uh eleven fifteen or what you can cut already lah. Uh, if can unable to hold, or else their next level is eleven. Okay, so far for PMB is still doing sideway. Okay. Harta, okay. Harta, let me see. Uh. Actually, Harta uh, looks looks better. La, okay, looks okay. La. So, if you want interested, today closing is uh, around 574. Okay, and their immediate support is 565. Okay, so long the price can stay above this level. Maybe I will put, I will put, I give them some buffer la, as this one is a dollar stocks ma. Okay, I give them the, some buffer until five 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 la. Okay, five five five. Okay, triple five ah. So long the price can stay above triple five, I'm still okay with it. Okay, fear to stay above triple five, they may go to five two five or even lower. But for short term point of view la. Okay, I see got potential. Uh, got potential and they need to break above uh, 582 and then 6 ringgit. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think the momentum wise all still got okay, still got potential uh, unless they close below 555 low. Okay, so EP for dialogue. Uh. Ah, dialogue. Uh. They rebound much and finish already. Uh. See, uh, here also once uh, last year. Here also, uh, they try to break above 200 MAs, but gonna rejected down already. So for me, dialogue. Uh, okay, monitor this level first. Uh, 265. 265. Uh, 265. It's a multiple moving average at uh, this level. If can hold, you can consider. If break below, uh, you wait around two seven uh two five oh sorry two five oh there. Okay, I still want to see uh, whether the next few days uh, the price can stay above two six five or not. Okay, EP for QL. QL uh, let QL still okay. If you want, you can consider already lah. Uh. Okay, or you wait for the price to break above 505. Okay, either you wait for the price to break above 505, only jump in, or you wait for the price to retest around 5 ringgit or 495 lah, 495 there. Okay, but what, what I see is uh, here is a sideway and any price would be okay so long don't close below 495. Okay, or wait for the price to break and close above 505. Then we'll consider lah. 
Okay, Great Tech just now covered uh, Gintech. Okay, let me see. Uh, Gintech. Uh. Gintech, break 250 already. Uh, not so good already. Uh. I think I, I have been warned that okay, Gintech, after their split uh, or bonus, uh, need to be careful already. Uh, as you know, uh, for Malaysia stocks, uh, usually after the bonus or split, uh, they will start to dispose their stocks already. Uh. As here, also quite obvious. Uh, here's an uptrend. And but the MACD unable to go up already. A little bit divergence. Okay, here is a sell down, rebound. Okay, rebound the high unable to go back to previous high and gonna rejected. Now break below two five zero already. So what I see is uh the bear is in control and also the MACD already crossed below zero center line. Okay, bear is in control ah. Uh unless next few days the price can go back above 250 lah, okay or else otherwise uh, for this one maybe we can wait around two ringgit okay wait at two ringgit lah. let it let it wash wash down first lah. <clears throat> okay msc it still supported average 308 even though tin prices reach all-time high msc still struggle okay let me see on msc first ah. Huh? Okay, I assume it's the yeah Malaysia MSC yeah. yeah a little bit struggle uh, what I see on the MSC uh, for me lah okay one two for me uh, it's time to protect some partial already okay okay based on technical point of view lah if we see on the uh, price action uh, the structure uh, the high high all right sorry I draw better first high 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 okay here the macd unable to go back okay to follow the the price already okay indicate that the price okay slightly weaker already okay unable to break above 350 and here we can see the macd already weak and today price session uh, also show some rejection now uh, okay although they got tried to push up but by end of day the seller come back down so for me okay if can uh, okay protect some and they may go back to revisit three ringgit okay or 275 okay so far what i see temporarily the bear is in control okay and second question is a bp plastic cost 180 okay let me see uh. b plus okay, bp plastic okay uh, 180 okay cost 180 need to stop loss yeah this one i think okay i don't know when i draw it uh, okay but this one is a divergence uh, okay we can see the price is getting higher but the macd also show the weakening okay until they break below this level already indicate that okay the bear is in control already so for me if you hold until now uh, Okay, if you don't mind, you want to fight again. 135, okay, 135 is your last, last defense already. Lah. Okay, also, previously they got a gap down, gap up here, and here is a 200 MA. So it's their last defense is at 135. If 135 also unable to hold, next level may go to 125 or even lower. Short term point of view, they are weak. But they still got the 200 MA to support. Lah. Okay, if be above 200 MA, maybe still got some chance to rebound from the 200 MA. Okay, short term is uh, weak. Lah. Okay, third one is a uh, SH chance support resistance. This one uh, quite in liquid. Uh, these stocks very difficult to read. Uh. <laughs> okay, very difficult to read. Let me see uh, if. Uh, weekly time frame can see anything uh. or oh, this one very difficult to read oh okay for me uh, support 375 okay resistant uh, 50 cents uh. 50 cents okay but uh if if trading uh, okay if trading uh, i will avoid these stocks uh. okay the chart is quite ugly okay but for the shorter term their support is uh, 410 to 410 to 465 okay sideways 
Okay, let me see. Asia Ply can hold. Ah. What is your EP? Let me see. Ah. Asia Ply. Ah. Asia Ply one. Hi, hi. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure where where is your uh where is your EP level? Okay, but here is some signal that wants you to take. Okay, you take note on one five five. Okay, which is the support bet then. Okay, if the price still can stay above one five five, I think you still okay. But if fear to stay above one five five lah, then not so good there. Okay, not so good already. And the price actually is below the 200 MAs, lah, so it's quite weak. So hopefully that they, they can uh, hit and rebound from the 155 level. Lah. Okay, if you have to stay above 155, next level is 145 ready. Lah. Okay, if you want to fight, you can use 155 as your last defense. Okay, EP for 7199. Okay, can I know the stock's name or not? 7199. Ken Hin, ah. Can hin let me see uh. this one uh. you can see uh one one two one two five uh or this one cannot go through uh gonna rejected so since they quite like to rebound from the two hundred MAs area lah uh, okay so maybe I will put around eight seven five okay or eight eight oh uh, eight eight oh wait around eight eight oh there uh. But if can, this one oh, I also will uh, avoid lah. Okay, quite in liquid. Okay, if you die die must buy it it oh okay. And Hexstar can comment. Okay, we let's see ah uh, how is Hexstar doing. Hexstar, let me see uh, the high. Okay, slightly weak, but but the big trend ah. Uh, the big trend for Hexstar is still fine. Okay, so long the price don't close below the 100 MAs, which is currently about 142. Lah. Okay, about 142. As we can see, this big uptrend. Ah. So far, the price is uh, supported well by the 50 MA. Okay, even the 50 MA breakdown. Lah, okay, they also supported by the 100 MAs. So I will use 100 MA as their last defense. Lah, okay. And the uptrend is still intact. Okay. Still okay. Just that, okay. Recently, the bull macham, okay. Slightly weak already. Lah. Just need to uh, be careful only. And watch out 142 as your last defense. Okay. If the price above 142, I think still fine. Below 142, need to consider to take, protect some profit. Lah. Okay. Next is uh, Kim Long. Kim Long, Kim Lun or Kim Long? I think it's a Kim. Okay, let me know. It's a Kim Lun or Kim Lun. Ah, I review others first. Okay, K A B. Ah, K A B. Actually, K A B is still okay. You know, the volume all are quite attractive, lah. Okay, the only thing ah uh, is uh this uh, K A B ah uh, is a downtrend stocks, and Quite goreng la the feeling, okay. Especially last year July, uh, they push down, they pump and dump, and recently they start to build up some volumes uh, As we can see, uh, they push out here got volume, here also got volume. So pending for the breakout above three seven five, okay. If able to close above three seven five, next level four four zero. So what I see is uh, they got chance to do another rebound. Uh. They got chance to rebound. But for a reversal, they need to go above, uh, above I think, at least above the 200 MA, uh, which is uh, 545. Okay, oh, okay, KM Long. Okay, later, I, okay, let me see. Uh, KM Long. Okay. This one EP, yeah. Uh. Okay, their performance are uh, if based on the chart uh, actually not that bad. Here high here. Okay, slightly weak, so maybe we can wait lower lah. Uh. Okay, don't enter too high. Around one six three to one six zero. Okay, around here. If the price can uh, retrace back lah, uh, 
since the MACD already crossed over, so I think got the potential for it to retrace back to uh, around this zone. Okay, this zone. So around 160 to 163. Okay, today closing is about 170. Lah. So hopefully got some retracement. Okay. Okay, CWG. CWG. Oh, this one tricky. Ah. But but overall, lah, their performance is still okay. Just that these stocks are... I see they are very tired. Oh, like yesterday, I see the chart not bad one. Okay, got push out with volume, but today they, they press down again. So, but so far the uptrend is still okay. Okay, the trend is still okay so long the price above four five five lah. I'm still okay with it. Today closing is uh four eight oh. So you can see lah, their pattern ah, they can white white two days and then the red one day press down or okay they can push out, and then press down more. So, so far, it's still okay. So long the price don't close below 455, I'm still fine with it. Okay, I'm, uh, I think if you want to long, la, okay, it's still okay. So long above 455. Okay, <clears throat> please review. Please, okay, PLS, okay, EP95. Last time, recently got listen sorry, out of weight. Okay, let me see, please. Uh. PLS, wow. <laughs> Okay, this one, uh, if, we, if we look at the chart, uh, it's very difficult to read. Uh, okay? Every, I think this one is a very illiquid counter. Uh. So if say volume, uh, max, max, I see. Uh, okay, if you max, max, I see uh, the resistance is one ringgit. Okay, recently indeed, okay, got some volume pumps in, uh, but... The chart uh, is too ugly already, very difficult to read. Lah. Okay, for me, I will consider to break even it and then put my money into other stocks. Uh. For this one, I very difficult to read on. Uh. They can one day push out a lot or press down a lot. Okay, due to the liquidity. Lah. Okay. And next one, EP for LSOFT. Else of uh, okay, <clears throat> okay, let me see. Uh, one, two, okay, else of got one level to consider, uh, okay, which is 940. Okay, so okay, got one trade plan now. Uh, okay, one trade plan is EP and at 940, which my cut loss below 90 cents. Okay. But based on recent sell down, uh, the momentum, uh, the success rate might be low. Okay. So if the price uh, unable to hold above, okay, unable to stay above 940, okay, next level we can wait at around 840. Uh, don't know, can or not. 840. Okay, uh, 850. Uh. Okay, if the price unable to stay above 940, next level 850. Okay, if 850 also unable to hold, okay, they may go to 750 already. Okay, so because uh, what I see is today at least got a hammer like candle, so maybe they, they got chance to do some rebound. Okay, so for this one, it's a short term trade if I want. Okay, enter with my stop loss below here, my TP maybe here, just a rebound trade. Okay, if you think if la tomorrow the Nasdaq closing is still not so good la, maybe the price still got chance to drop further, maybe it can go until uh, eight five zero. Okay. Okay, comment on LS still ah. This one also sideways ah, nothing much ah. Also very. Hey, let me see. Uh, correct counters, right? Okay. Also very illiquid. Uh. 590. Delay closing 610. Okay. Very illiquid. Okay. And I'm not sure you... Okay. Comment on uh, TP. Uh. Okay. I assume you already TP. Uh, okay. So watch out your immediate resistance. 625. Okay. 625 and 660. Oh, okay. 
before 660 lah, you monitor 640 also. This one is a 100 and 200 MAs. Okay, very in liquid lah. This one very difficult to trade lah for me. <laughs> okay, okay, EP for Genting Malaysia 270 ah. Hmm, can uh, if you want 275 lah, can wait around here lah. At least we can see uh, here is a sell down. Okay, they try to rebound, but unable to go through this level. Okay, unable to go through 293, 3 ringgit, and Gurna rejected. So, seems like if the market sentiment continue bad, uh, okay, they may go back to 275. Okay, so upcom EP. Uh, <clears throat> Wow, outcome already break below 880. Uh. Okay, 880. I think previously I do uh, review before and the level to watch is uh, 880. And today the price already break below 880, uh, closing at 855. So it seems like the bear is still in control. Okay, the price okay still got chance to drop further. Uh, okay, next level. Uh, 80 cents. Okay, let me delete all already. Lah. No, no meaning already. The lines. Okay, next level 80 cents and 750. Oh. Okay, so uh, monitor first. Lah, okay, uh, for me, not so good looking yet. Lah. Not so good looking. They may go down further. So monitor 80 cents first. If unable to hold, then you monitor 750. Oh, lah. If these two levels also cannot hold. Lah, they may go back to 6 to 5. Okay, what is the likely support for NASDAQ? Okay, NASDAQ just now cover already, but we can review. Lah. Okay, they are NASDAQ, right? Okay, NASDAQ, uh, their immediate support is 15.2K, okay, which is here. Okay, so if tonight the closing is like the hammer, like that, uh, okay, so still got chance to rebound lah. Okay, if you feel to stay above 15.2k, which is this level, next level ah, 14.9k. And the worst to worst ah, 14.5k. Okay, one one four five zero zero zero. Okay. So we see lah, tonight if you can stay above 15.2k, okay, still got chance lah. But I see the most ah, is a rebound for further sell down okay okay the last question already uh, last one is the green yb uh. this one is a goreng stocks uh. green yb already weak uh. green yb already weak and here we can see something uh. okay let me delete everything and we can see on the let me show you clearer Okay, this one is a first high, second high, but the high is getting lower. Okay, from here they already indicate that the bull is uh, weak, weaker already. Okay, this rebound, also no energy. And we can see the MACD already below the zero center line. So the bear is in control. Okay, and then I scroll in and see. Uh, and based on recent trend, uh, last year, December until today, uh, the price already below the uh, moving averages, okay, especially below the 200 MAs, which is here. Okay, so the bear is in control. So if you're looking for place, uh, okay, a support level, uh, immediate support is a 250, okay, if unable to hold, uh, next level, uh, 205 already. Okay, I still haven't seen any good setup for these stocks. Lah. So maybe I can put 250 as my support level. If can hold, maybe it's got some opportunity to make some rebound. Lah. Maybe rebound to 275 like that. Lah. Okay, if unable to hold, uh, they might go down to 205. Okay, so today's sharing session uh, is until here only. Lah. So our next sharing session is uh, next Monday. Okay, next Monday, 8.30. So, uh, see you guys there. Lah. Okay, thank you everyone for coming. And thank you for your time also. So, see you next Monday. Thank you.